this one disturbing Frieza. I mean, the voice is right there, so Frieza's always with me. <laughs> so, you know, if you can deny that your voice really is the one that people most remember from anime, and I really mean this people I know growing up that have never watched another anime show outside of Dragon Ball Z ever again, they all remember you. You have the most iconic uh, voice in anime, in my, in my opinion. And I, I was wondering what that means to you. It means so much to me because I, I didn't really ever think of my voice that way. <laughs> I mean, I just went and uh, did my job and did the voice, had fun with it. I liked Frieza, I liked how Frieza was funny, and I did like the gravel in the voice, and I liked how it could make Frieza menacing, um, but I didn't realize how much my voice impacted people, and I, I'm just thankful, I'm, I'm thankful to God that I'm able to be here and, and meet so many nice fans, and um, just to be an anime. I enjoy it. I enjoy my work. It's fun. How did you get the role in uh, Chainsaw Man? Like, I, I recognized that <laughs> tangent of voice immediately. So. Chainsaw Man, actually, Mike McFarland, um, they called me and they just said, do you think you can still yell and scream? And I said, yeah, I think so. That's how I got it. <laughs> uh, I'm curious, do you ever read, like, those fan posts on Reddit where they uh, debate who the best Frieza voice was? Or do you not care about that? Well, I think I did a couple times, and then I thought, I probably don't even need to read this, you know? It's probably not good to read the thing, so I haven't in a long time. How do you feel about, like, a downloadable pack for those Dragon Ball Z games with your voice on it? See, I, don't, I, I looked that up, I don't really get it. Do you mean then someone could would have the voice in their game and yeah, they could like it would, bring it up when they... Freeze. And then when they need it to use it, they bring up the voice? Is that yeah, how that like works? You, you would pay $10, uh -huh. and then your voice would replace the current Frieza voice for those who want it. Like oh. they, could, they could select it, like in the options. Oh, yeah. wow. I'm sure you get nice royalties for that. <laughs> I don't know. I never thought of that, but I wouldn't mind hearing more about it. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. I know sometimes... People send me clips where they have changed. They somehow they've taken my voice from one of the older shows and put it in like super or something. And it's kind of funny to see it's that. It's the right call in my opinion. <laughs> Thank <God>. you. <laughs> I like all the freezes. Though. We all like each other. We've always we've all always liked each other. Isn't that funny? Everyone says you're the villains and you like each other. You have, have you ever met Pauline and had like a that's, face off? That's the only um, Frieza I haven't met. And yes, um, I don't know if she goes to conventions. Does she? I've never seen know. her at a convention. And um, I meet other Canadian actors. Uh, I, Peter Kalamis and I were at a con not long ago. We did a little Frieza Goku video. That was fun. I need to ask him if she ever comes out. I, I'll be because I'd love to meet her. Because I had to actually imitate her voice uh, years ago, because that's how they had us come into Dragon Ball Z. Since it was, they were taking it from Canada and wanted a smooth transition, and maybe people wouldn't know they changed actors. So I'd love to meet her. What's the wildest fan request you've ever gotten at a con? You know, I haven't gotten any that many wild ones. I guess signing someone's leg. I mean, um, signing a car, signing steering wheels. Um, oh, one time people said, we'd like you to sign our baby, but maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> I said, probably not. <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's probably my wildest one. Did you ever expect that anime would reach this level where it's pretty much the centerpiece of New York Comic Con? I mean, it's even on the no, badges now, no. and over The Walking Dead and what? No, and I don't think most people that I know that are in anime realized that. Especially um, the, the several of us who started years ago. 
we didn't, I mean, we were just going in and doing a new job. It was fun. But we had no idea that it would explode, that it would blow up. <laughs> I knew. Well, of course, Frieza, you know everything. <laughs> But anyway, I'm very honored and blessed, and I love meeting the fans, because the fans really are responsible for the explosion of anime. So, I, and I'm thankful I still get to work, and still get to do voices, and come to the cons, and be Frieza. It's fun to still be Frieza. I mean, the voice is right there, so Frieza's always with me. <laughs> How much fun did you have, uh... You know, on Yu Yu Hakusho oh, playing Genka. Yu Yu Hakusho, I love that show. My son plays Karama in that show. I play Genkai, and I think Genkai is just the best mentor. Uh, she doesn't take any nonsense. She's a good fighter. She's strong. She's smart. She's wise. And but her heart, she has a heart of love. She's for the good, and I like that. What is it like working with your son? Kind of the family business now, right? Well, um, in the booth we never got to work with each other, but we do cons together sometimes. And we might be at this con next year together. And um, yeah, I enjoy it because a lot of times we'll do road trips too, so we get to visit and talk and um, it's nice. I like it a lot. Uh, can you tell us more about, uh, you know, the whole cancer organization you're calling? Uh, Okay. Yeah. Well, they are located in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and what they do is help uh, pay for children's cancer treatments that can't afford it, um, pediatric cancer, and that's the main thing that they do is help the kids. And uh, I was going to say, what, what, I think what, what is your favorite memory of working uh, you know, back in the... In the booth? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is kind of funny, but... They called me mom a lot. Because I was probably the oldest one. And... Because I would bring Lysol. Because it was only one booth then. And everyone would be in it. So I'd go... I'd spray it with Lysol and things like that. And, <laughs> and I'd bring cookies a lot. I brought cookies. I was like a mom. So I guess, and it was so, there were so fewer people then. So it was like a little family. So that's, and just getting started in anime, and uh, even the, the equipment wasn't as good. You had paper scripts. Yeah. You had to look down and look up. Um, so it was probably harder work, but it was just fun, because everyone was starting out in it, you know? And it was like a little family. So, it's a lot of good memories from that. And now I have some good friends because of it, too. Like Cynthia Kranz is one of my very good friends. Um, yeah, she's, her and I do road trips together. She's Chi Chi. Yeah. And like Tiffany, Stephanie, Kent, Chuck, John Swayze. There's so many friends I have. But um, I think we Sean Schmell? Um, I don't know Sean that well. I mean, we worked together. So when he lived here, we'd see each other in uh, at parties and stuff that they threw. But I don't know him that well. But I know Chris Sabin. He's a really nice guy. He's he's the one that talked me into doing conventions, actually. So okay. Huh. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs>